Ooh. <laughs> You're all right there. 12th of June, 2021. And it's the day we get to celebrate this little boy's birth. Coming into the world. Yeah, in a few weeks. Guys, it's baby shower day. Can you actually believe that? Can you believe that, baby boy? It's our baby shower today. He's going to be kicking all day because he knows it's all for him. Well, he was kicking all night. I must have missed the memo for the party in the wing last night because... <laughs> He was it going was 3 a.m. He was rolling around. He was sticking his feet up in my ribs. I was feeling like we woke up and, and started having a convo in the night. Can you remember that? Or was, maybe was it a dream? I think it might have been a dream because I was not in a good mood last night, Gone. Oh. Heartburn hit me to the max. Uh, um... Is that why I was getting kicks in the back, was it? <laughs> <laughs> not from baby boy. <laughs> why? See, now I've got a sore throat because I've coughing my lungs up all night. Oh, wow. Well. Because of the heartburn. So what's going on outside? Tell everyone. So, okay, I don't know anything about this baby shower, guys. I honestly don't. All I know is that my big sister, maid of honour, BFF, Lucy Jessica, has planned the whole thing with Laura, one of my fabulous friends. And as you guys know, she is our party planner. Her company is called Every Last Detail. What's she done con? She did con a surprise birthday party. I'd say party. Everyth everything we've ever done as an event since Engagement. 2018 she's been part of angel collection launch party Kate's uh, party my party lucy's gender reveal your party your home cinema party like everything yeah so obviously we had to have her all the good shower. stuff so lucy and laura have been liaising and i don't know anything i don't i don't know the vibe like lucy's very big on pinterest boards as am i this Ooh, is not have a you seen a pinterest board oh, no yeah. this no you haven't have you actually no he's just winding me up guys this is not a pinterest board that lucy and i have collabed on you know we we share a lot of access to each other's secret pin, pinterest boards. this is boards. lucy carter tones connor this swift this is not Connor, whatever, you haven't done any organising. Oh, anyway, so I'm under strict instructions not to look outside this morning. So we're just led in bed today. Um, Laura turned up at 9am and... Started organising everything. So Eddie's yeah. literally not allowed to look out the back of our house. So she has to face... I don't know what direction that is. Let's just call it north. You have to face north the whole day. Yeah, and it's very hard, guys, because as a lot I have of to do night, this. Our whole, like, back of the house has garden gardens. <laughs> Windows out to the garden. Oh, he's kicking away. He's finding that funny what I'm doing, that's why. It's a good one, Dad. <laughs> Tell you what, Angels, I'm a bit of a dilemma as well, right? Yeah, guys. So, I... Right, if someone says baby shower to a bloke, they think, right. Better evacuate. Yeah, like, it's a girl's thing. <laughs> Like, the girls all meet up and chat about baby stuff. I've never, like, on every single movie, I've never seen a <laughs> bloke there. So I just assume it is for the girls. Now, I've made plans to go play golf, because as you know, I'm a new golf <laughs> addict. But I see Laura setting up, and I kind of want to stay, because I know it's how good it's going to be. Dude. So is it bad that the dad stays for the baby shower. No, I don't think it is. I think if you're I think if you're the dad, you're the only guy that I can get away with it. I, I will come stay. I've always oh. I've always told Con that I think he should stay and hang out because I think it will be so much fun. So should I stay or should I not stay? Or should I just go to golf for a little oh, bit and then come back sweetheart. early? They're my three options. So yeah guys, exciting day. Now I've just got to not look out the window. You just gotta relax then, for a couple of hours, darling. And then start getting ready. <laughs> From the moment that we met, you're worth the wait. So, guys, I have just left the party set up because we are picking up one extremely, extremely special guest. And her name begins with K and it ends with E. And it is someone called Mrs. Kit. Cat Katie, here she is. Oh, I forgot to open the door. Here she is, the Hello. one and only. Hello, Bill. Have you got your dress in the in your bag? Oh, 
Oh, yeah. Ooh. And do all the small Oh, I love that. All your sister's are already there, so it's going to be a little Derby sister party before the real party. <laughs> love it. Oh, this could be the best thing that I'll ever know. Talk for hours and never slept Two silhouettes on the concrete steps We watched the sun as it slowly crept From the horizon to So me and Kit Kat have come downstairs to see the creations come to life. What do you think, Kit Kat? I love it, sis. First of all, it's let's so start with the amazing afternoon tea. I mean, I actually can't believe, can't believe how good it looks. Look at that. Oh my goodness. I know Elle is absolutely gonna love it, it all. It gorgeous outside. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. B-boy vibes. That cake. Love it. Is something else. Oh, it's so nice. I think she's gonna love it. It's so cute, sis. She's upstairs getting ready. So this is where we're all gonna have our afternoon tea. We have got some little honey favours. Here we have the massive balloon hoop. I love that big chair. Go and sit in it, sis. sis Go so on. Good. Go and uh, give us a twirl, sister. Love it. I feel like you need a picture there. <laughs> and we then have this sweet cart. I know where me and Kit Kat are going to be hanging out. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> we are just getting ready. Happy baby shower day to my gorgeous sister. Thanks, sis. So exciting. I right? can't believe this day is finally. I know. You know what? I saw a white butterfly this morning. Did you? And it just flew right near my balcony. I didn't know it was mum. Oh, that's so lovely. She was saying, make sure Ellie has a good day. Oh, make sure Ellie Belly has a good day. That's so nice. Yeah. I wish she was here. I know, but at least you've got me, right? Yeah. I know. Well, we've just been getting ready up here all morning. Katie's wearing one of my gorgeous dresses from my In The Style collection. Look at that. How I'm sorry, this dress was actually like made for Katie, I feel like. How nice do you look in that dress, honestly? Yes, I love it. Do I you? I just love the floaty bit above my legs. Yeah, it's lovely. Yeah. You look beautiful. Thanks, sis. I'm sure you look as beautiful as me. Oh. Always do. <laughs> I'm gonna try to rush to get ready because Lucy wants me down in like literally 10 minutes, so I need to go and finish this look. But people are starting to arrive. I'm getting so, not like nervous, but just really excited. Haven't seen like so many of the girls coming today for ages, so I'm really, really looking forward to it. Right, I've been told I'm allowed to go down. Oh yeah. Look how gorgeous my sister looks. Oh. Nothing compared to you. No, sis, honestly. No, nothing compared Just to you. Just beautiful. Thank you. But I am ready, finally. Right. <sighs> Let's go and do Let's this, honey. Oh, look. Oh, my God, Laura, you've done a fab like job. It? it looks beautiful. Oh, this is so gorgeous, guys. Oh, look at the hoop. Yeah, the hoop is amazing. The pampas grass. Yeah. Kick her eyes low when she saw this. Oh, thing. yeah. Oh, look at that. And mine, to be fair. Oh, oh yeah. my God, gorgeous. Excuse me. Oh, my God, and all of this Licking stuff in here. Oh, look. Are they actual drinks in there? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Oh, it just looks beautiful. Oh, yeah. wow, guys. Thank you so much. Sis, it looks absolutely fab. Oh, this could be the best thing that I'll ever know. Showed up for the party. Are you Miss Amber. The power. The power. Herbie, it's a baby. Look, Herbie loves babies, don't you? Who are you gonna be with your big bro? Sat down, eating some lovely time. My granny bought some of her secret key show, which I'm not sharing with anybody because it's my favourite. Chilling with everybody. Look at Herbie being so protective of the baby. <laughs> Yeah. What, do you want the girls up on the stage to do their speech? See so you now and tell us what the next game is. Are you ready now? 
Yeah, I'm ready. So I'll have to do a quiz. I love it. Obviously. Ready? I'm not. What date is Ellie's birthday? Oh, Ellie's birthday. Oh, Ellie's birthday. What day is my birthday, guys? Have you got an answer? Yeah. 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 Okay. Question number two. Where was Elle born? That's a hard one. Oh, that is a hard one, guys. Sorry, you lot. We were yeah. County yeah. Or <laughs> yes. Where was I born, you lot? <laughs> Jess. <laughs> I, I, I'm born abroad. <laughs> this girl's a bridesmaid. <laughs> Oh, I know this one. Oh, come on, everyone. How many siblings does Elle have? I like bonus this quiz. Point, if you can name them all. Yeah. Oh. oh, good one. She loves a bonus point. What size are Elle's feet? Ooh, I should be doing this really, shouldn't I? Yeah, you should, Con. You get them all right. Question at number seven. Shut your ears, Connor. Oh. Who is Elle's celebrity crush? There are three potential answers that Connor could have said. Mm. He Which said, one? you eat it in tablet form. That's A. <laughs> you take it in tablet form. B is, it just comes out, so you birth it after the baby. And C is, the placenta just stays inside and it dissolves. <laughs> <laughs> just disappears. What yeah, it just goes Con away. Say? What did Con say? We asked Con, what age on average do you start to wean a baby? So this is general average. <laughs> no judgment. <laughs> <laughs> A, six months, B, four months, or C, nine months. What do you think he said? Um, ask Connor, what is colostrum? Answer A is a vitamin that the body produces. B is it's the first milk that's produced from the mum. And C is it, it's a bodily fluid. I think that you've, I... you know a lot more. Yeah, because he's... what you're putting on. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Mm. I think you listen, mate. Yeah. When Ellie talks, I Yeah, I have to. Can't wait to hear what you answered. Now you're going to shut up the answers, okay? Okay. So, question number one When is Elle's birthday? 9th of December, yeah. 1995. Oh, right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you'll never know. Where was Elle born? Stevenage. Oh. Or... Did get that right? I did. Hertfordshire. <laughs> oh, well done, Kit Kat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, you were born there as well, babes. What hospital? Oh, I don't know. Dad? I know. List the hospital. Yeah. Come on, Charles. Look at Dad just being like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Al has four sisters. Did anyone name them all? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 Lily? Yeah. This is an exam for Lily. <laughs> go on then, yeah, go on then, Lily. Go on then, Lily. Natalie, Sophie, Lucy, Katie. Well done. And do we have children as well? Both yes. Go on. Oh, go on then. No, not, oh, I don't know all of them. No. I know Jens and Jesse. Oh, my God. Oh! 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 To my manager Lily. Um, Spilling the beans, Giles Darby. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, my gorgeous angels. <sighs> Excuse the way I look right now. Um, it's a few days after the baby shower. I don't actually know how much we vlogged. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video so far. I cannot believe, guys, my baby shower has been and gone. And honestly, it was like everything I could have ever dreamt for it to be a more i said to lucy and laura that i really didn't want it to be like anything really major i didn't want any like big surprises or anything because i found it to be quite an emotional day anyway like without my mum there and i just really wanted it to be a nice day to celebrate the baby coming into the world with just my closest friends and family and um honestly it was just so perfect and it was just really really special to have everybody that I love so much like all of the most incredible women in my life there to support me and it was lovely just spending time with them so yes yeah, so if I didn't vlog very much I'm sorry but I hope you guys have enjoyed the footage that we did get so it's a couple of days after the baby shower now and I am just chilling in baby boy's room I mean shock there is literally basically no other room I hang out in at the moment I've even brought the fan up here <laughs> because I'm just literally standing in here so often i've also been doing the hospital bags which are coming together ever so nicely we're nearly nearly there with them guys so that's going to be a video that i think is probably coming next week but we've got my hospital bag and baby boy's hospital bag and um i just need to organize 
Connor's what he's gonna take yeah that's gonna be a fun video but I, that's what I've been doing really and I've just been so hot guys like honestly okay I I'm not good in the heat anyway let alone being actually officially nine months pregnant i am due now in less than a month should we do a little bit of a bump update it is crazy to me that this baby is coming look doesn't it actually look like i've just shoved a whole football at my top doesn't doesn't it just isn't it at that point can you believe that that's my bump there he is look he's in there and we had a scan we had the, our growth scan i have spoken about this on instagram but we had our normal routine growth scan um, a couple of days ago now because he has been measuring on the 97th centile as um, if you've been watching the vlogs and keeping up with my Instagram stories and stuff like that you'll probably know about because I've spoken about it a lot. It has been one of those things that was kind of just like playing on my mind a little bit. I always feel like at every single point in pregnancy there's like something to kind of worry about and that had been taken up the majority of my thoughts like ever since he was on the 97th growth centile at the start because it can just affect the way that they're kind of brought into the world i mean sometimes like you are suggested to have a cesarean or um induction and you just kind of know you never know how things are going to go with with it so i've been playing on my mind so anyway my midwife had booked us in for a non-routine growth scan because she was slightly concerned about his growth we went for that and i'm really really happy to say that he's big but everything is looking fine in terms of my birthing options so the consultant really had no issue with me just like letting me go into labor naturally and like seeing how my body goes and she didn't think there was a need for a cesarean to be booked in or for like a date for me to be induced or anything like that and i am really really just so relieved about that because honestly like i've been thinking about it so much for weeks and weeks now that at this point like no matter how this baby gets out i really don't care I, i'm like past that point i just obviously want him to get here as like healthiest and safest that he can and whatever is best for me and him I, I was really really pleased about that so that's like something that's kind of been lifted off my shoulders and um it's just a waiting game now guys i am due in less than a month this baby could be here tomorrow he could be here in four weeks it is crazy that like this time next month the chances are that he will be here and i'm just so excited and i thought i could actually run through a few of the baby shower presents that my friends and family bought him because oh guys honestly i just feel like i have the best friends and family in the whole entire world like everybody just i said to everybody that i really didn't want any gifts like this baby already has everything that he could possibly ever want or need me as his mum like i've just kind of gone ott with it all <laughs> i really really didn't need anything for him um but i did kind of just say that like if you do want to get me something then i'd really just love books for his little bookshelf with a like a note in the front of the book saying about your wishes for him or like who you are to him and it's something that he can just look back on in years to come see like it's a lovely memory for me as well and just story books to read him at bedtime and um we got loads of books and i'm not gonna lie i feel like they just completely unlocked so many childhood memories that i didn't even realize i had anymore we've got the rainbow fish which was a big fave of mine when i was growing up we've got elma who remembers elma the tiger who came to tea giraffes can't dance honey bones um the owl who's afraid of the dark we're going on a bear hunt such an og we're gonna catch a big one a large family some peter rabbit books hungry caterpillar obviously and then also guess how much i love you um which meant so much to me because my mum read this to me all the time and i actually read through this after the baby shower just on my own in his room and it made me really emotional because like the last page is i love you up to the moon and back and that's what me and my mum always said and it's just lovely to have that for my little boy um on his bookshelf so that means so much to me and then we also got these lovely hello baby cards and i saved one of these from the baby shower as like a little favor because they're so cute i'm gonna put that in his memory box i think and also i have two minutes left on this memory card so i'm gonna have to wrap it up but um i really wanted to show you guys this so karis at angel collection who is like our product development gal a really good friend of mine from childhood she's just amazing she made or she got the team to make his very own 
baby angel light set we've got the joggers underneath there look i was actually blown away it's actually even got his initials embroidered on the back so obviously i'm not going to show you that but uh, oh my god guys Ah, oh, just so cute and so thoughtful and it meant the world to me and I just can't wait for the matching mum and son pick. But um, yeah, that's just so adorable. We were just honestly so spoiled and we had the best time and it was just really lovely to do it. So um, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and finish off today's video here, guys, because I am running out of memory card space. So I'm going to love you and leave you. Thank you guys so much for watching and joining in on my baby shower. I don't have very many more pregnancy videos left, guys. Um, I'm going to do like a big talk in the next video, kind of about our plans for um, our last couple of weeks of pregnancy and then when the baby arrives and we'll go through that. But yeah, we're getting there and it's so exciting and thank you so much for following our journey love you guys so much i hope you have a fabulous rest of your day angels and i will see you in the next video bye